Hello to all you fantastic and wonderful people. I hope you're all fine and well, having a great day. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Black Shark Goblin X5 wired gaming headset from Amazon. This cost £35 in the UK at the time of recording, and I'll leave links in the description as always. But before we go any further guys, are you subscribed to the channel? If not, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Help me reach the 75 subscriber goal. I've also set up a Discord for you guys so you can go ahead and follow me there and on Instagram as well. I would really appreciate that and as a thank you, here's another picture of one of my dogs, Jackson. With the housekeeping out of the way, let's get right into the video. So, as I mentioned, this is the Goblin X5 wired gaming headset by Black Shark with the detachable microphone. As you can see, it's just a plain black box with some branding and some green accents. It looks pretty cool, although it's basic, it looks nice. There's no cradle for the headphones, they're just in a little sleeve, but that's not a biggie for me. They actually look pretty good. Okay, I actually like the look of those. The black and green looks very nice together. They've got a nice mesh on the sides there. Foam ear cups and a foam headband on the top and the bottom. You've got the Black Shark logo across the top of the headband there that's imprinted in. It looks really nice, that. And they've got some good flex. That's actually pretty impressive. They've got a wire reinforced bar that goes through. And there's likely some plastic in there somewhere as well. We've got good tilt action on the left and right ear cup. And they are both clearly labelled left and right with some silver print. Very good. The foam ear cups feel nice and padded. And it's not real leather, it's just like a PVC, but they feel nice and comfortable. Then we've got the wire connection, which is a 3.5mm jack. And it is the three-pole variant. This means you can just plug it straight into your controller, so your typical PlayStation, Xbox, and even most third-party controllers have the 3.5mm jack. And of course, most modern PCs also have the single port, but if you do have two ports on the front of your PC, not to worry, there is a splitter included with this headset. We'll look at this in just a second. The cable length is reasonable at around a meter, 1.5 meters. It's not supposed to be very long, it is designed to plug into your controller, so it is acceptable in this case. And finally, the audio splitter and the microphone and some instructions. We're not going to want the instructions, but we will need the microphone and possibly the audio splitter. It's just a female 3.5mm jack on one end and then a colour-coded twin 3.5mm the other. The headphone's the same, it's a 3.5mm jack, and it's got a little plastic key on there, so it goes in in a particular way, and when you're making adjustments, it won't twizzle around and cause crackling and stuff like that to annoy your friends, so it's pretty good. On the bottom, we've got a mute button and a volume dial. This is just a typical pressing button. It's pretty responsive, and it does work and respond very well, and then your generic dial up and down for volume. Very basic, but it works and it does the job that it's intended to do, so it's pretty good for the price range. Let's take it over to the PC then and do some sound tests. The microphone, it's only got one little hole here to pick up the audio, so I'm not anticipating that it's going to be as good as your Astros or Turtle Beaches and stuff like that, but let's check them out and see what they sound like. This is an audio test for the Black Shark Goblin X5 gaming headset. I've just plugged it into the PC. I've not messed with any of the volume or settings or anything like that. It's straight out of the box. And switch back on. So yeah, it seems to be working pretty well. I'll have to check it back in the editing, but I can see here on the chart that it's giving me the normal sound signatures as what any other microphone would be really. I'm quite impressed with the audio quality, especially in game. And as I said before, the flex is also very good on these headphones. 
So, after taking these into a few games, i.e. Warzone, Fortnite, and Call of Duty Zombies, I came across no issues whatsoever, everybody could hear me nice and clearly, and I could hear everybody else just fine. All of the footsteps, directional and otherwise, are all audible and clear. I give it top marks for the audio. It is slightly different when listening to music. In my opinion, they are missing a little bit of bass and sound slightly tinny, but for gaming, they are perfect. On to the pros and cons then, as I said, the audio quality, especially for gaming, is very good. The ear cups are soft and padded, very comfortable to wear, they also have a soft inner headband lining, always a nice addition. They're just generally lightweight and comfortable. They are very versatile with the 3.5mm jack and also include the audio splitter for older systems and two-way audio. The microphone is detachable and it's also keyed so it won't twizzle around and give you any unwanted sounds when you're in game. But also you could use a mod mic or something like that if you wanted to upgrade the microphone later down the line. Although the controls are very basic, they are a good addition, the microphone mute and the volume control. The build quality is all up to a reasonable standard and fairly inexpensive at $34.99 in the UK at the time of recording. The only negatives I could really find is maybe these hinges where the ear cups join to the frame. They are made from plastic so over time they may be a weak point. And finally the cable, I wish it was a little longer when I plugged it into the rear end of my PC. I couldn't sit back comfortably in my chair and game, I had to kind of lean forward. So I wish we had a little bit of extra length with the cable and maybe a little bit of reinforcement on the folding ear cups. But otherwise a solid 4 out of 5 stars from me and I think they are very good value for money. If you found any part of this video helpful at all or if you enjoyed it or just enjoy supporting small creators in general then please go ahead and leave a like on the video, dislike if you disliked it, please subscribe to the channel and help me reach that 75 subscriber goal, that would be awesome and I would really appreciate that. I've also left links in the description to the product and to my socials. I'm not linked or sponsored by Black Shark in any way, this is just my experience and opinion. Guys, thank you to each and every one of you for being here. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.